free mass in Namde Kano. Stop the killing. See what a great US man right lawyer said. Hello, viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Mazen Namde Kano has been discharged and acquitted from all concocted charges leveled against him. Holding him is illegal and against the law. Now, according to Article 3 of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, states that indigenous people have the right to self-determination. This guarantees the right to freely determine their political condition and the right to freely pursue their form of economic, social, and cultural development. The Nigerian government are aware of this. In fact, they are signatory to this. But they continue to keep this gentleman in DSS custody for no reason. When I told you that Muhammad Buhari is nothing but a terrorist who has refused to obey a simple law, take it from me. I don't dislike him. I only disliked him because he behaved like a tarot. He does not obey court orders. And since he took over office as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he has done nothing but bring shame to Nigerians. A high degree of shame, a disgrace to the extent Nigeria is now a poverty capital of the world. Upon this, he has refused to be cut others. A constitution he is supposed to protect. He continued to disobey that constitution because he is tarant, in an entity from the pit of hell. I don't hate Flanis. In fact, I love them. While I was in Colombia, Kuwait, so many friends of mine are Flanis. But as far as I'm concerned, Buhari is nothing but a common terrorist. And this must be tell. A man who disobeys his own court, but he wants every citizen of Nigeria to obey the law, but he continues to disobey the law because he believes that he, he is everything he is above the law and for this reason he disobeys court orders he disobeys the united nation but what baffles me is why united nation continue to keep quiet even after they know knew that this country called nigeria is signatory to their so-called constitution Upon that, they continue to keep calm. Why this atrocious man continue to arrest innocent people who are fighting for freedom? Maybe Buhari has not seen, or maybe his lawyer, personal lawyer, has not read what is written. In the United Nations Declaration about Human Rights, the question is when will this end? Where are those people who claim they believe so much in human rights? Where was they when Mazinan the Kano was kidnapped? and brought back to Nigeria illegally. Where are they now? 
as they continue to keep him in DSS custody for two guiding years. This is what we are talking about. This is a man who came into office dubiously. This is a man who came into office as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria dubiously. A man with no character. A disgusting man who has no certificate. But he continued to intimidate those who are educated. He continued to intimidate Nigerians who are first class, second class upper when it comes to education. A man who could not pass a common wasp, a common wayak, has the audacity to continue to intimidate innocent people because they are fighting for freedom. He treats his own kinsmen with his glove while they continue to terrorize innocent people in their own land. Nandekano must be released. He must be free. We have said this several times, and I believe the world are listening to us that any single day that any ant touches him, that day, so many people will leave that country for us. So many politicians, and I am going to mention them. David Umaya will leave, and believe me, no part of European country will contain him because so many will face him out. People will get down him, get him down, and die for it, and go into it, into it. They will go to prison for it, in every part of the world. Hopeless them I will go down for it. That stupid Ahmed Nibu will go down for it because he also contributed in the kidnap of Nam Kano because he knows what will happen if he's outside while all this shred is happening about Nigeria election. This thing was planned. They used someone who was close to him and today he parades himself as one known entity who wants to lead Biafra. That thing in River State, believe me, no place will contain him. No matter the place he go to, we will make sure that he doesn't grow more than how he is now. I don't believe in touching people's keys. I believe so much in those who commit the evil. We go in for the evil, not to their children. So many people go in for it. If any single mosquito get to him, <laughs> I believe you know what I mean. People like us will make sure that so many politicians in that country will visit their grandfather where they are, as we speak. And people will go in for it. Everything I've continued to say in this channel is gospel. It's something that can, that can be activated. I look at some people and laugh. In life, money makes a man to come down a little. If not, the, my kind of man, believe me, I will not give Nigeria a common six months. How we tumble everywhere. People will not understand. Mazen and the Khan have to be released. United Nations, you claim you believe in human rights. It's a shrine in your own chapter. Do the nephew. The world powers should also do the nephew. Bidding should stop parading himself as a president while he continues to sell up. Ammunition and the aircraft to a criminal and the terrorist who derive joy in killing innocent citizens. Innocent citizens. Time shall tell. Jay Biafra.